Everybody said I look cool in my sunglasses. Hi, I'm Dr. Altman. I'm here in San Francisco at the Exploratorium, a pretty cool science museum. Let's look at some of the different parts of this science museum. This is a cloud chamber, an ionizing radiation, little particles of radioactive, little zoomies called in industry. It goes through the, uh, the vapor, it causes condensation to occur and leaves a little path, kind of like an airplane traveling through the high atmosphere. So you can see the different uh, uh, radiation trails. Now, if we have magnets in there, and I don't think they're going to get in there and play with it. We can see that positive particles uh, could be bent, negative particles could be bent. We can learn a little something about those particles. What is it? What? The cloud chamber, and it's showing radioactive particles, which are normally invisible, but as they go through the uh, material, they leave little traces. So you can see the little tracks they're leaving. And of course, I'm going to show this at high speed, so you can see a lot more of them than are being illustrated here. But it's pretty cool. This demonstration shows how a charged gas that's moving can have its path deflected by a magnet. A magnet can change the path of the charged particles. Basic principle of high school physics, typically we don't have just a gas that's charged. Typically we have a wire, and a wire carrying charge is also deflected, similar pattern, but it's the gas that's really kind of fun to play with. The problem is you just don't find places where you have charged gases much anymore. The old television sets used to have a charged gas, but now everybody's going to a flat screen, liquid crystal. This is a lot of fun. I know exactly what time it is. 2.35. 2.35. Right, okay, Magnetic field around a current carrying wire can be illustrated. The magnets are lined up one way. If I make the electricity go in one direction, the magnetic field goes this way. And if I reverse the direction of the electricity, then the magnetic field's direction is also changed. Not the current, and the magnetic field is off. 